All right, so we got all that rain last night. And interesting enough. Hmm. That's dry. So we finally have gravel everywhere out here. Oh, ooh, we had a rough night. Hmm, let me show you how this works. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so, see these? Well, let me look at it from the side. Each one, see the stickers on it? Tells you what's in this bundle. So there's five in this bundle. Tells you what they are, but then they're also labeled here. Joy's 15, 24, 23, 22, and actually 32 and 31. All right. They do this handy dandy layout. So you got your joy schedule. And then you got all that. So first one, J15. All right. Where's that? Well, that's over there. Okay. So I decide what area that is. That's part of the rec room. And then you got... 23 and 24, 23 and 24 over here. And then what I say, 31 and 32, there's 30, 31 and 32. So you just follow what it says, right? That's it. So you got 49 inch on center is what most of this is. And you start with on one side, so J40, in the underneath the master bath, uh, master bed, master bath area, that's where I would want to start. J40, I'd get my 41 inch long lock bar, put the little angle piece on it, get that set, then all the other ones, you know, just stack out how they're supposed to. And that's how the whole thing gets done. So the the porch joists are also this system because the porch everything's concrete, so the porch is, um, but they're eight inch. So the purple means they're. 8 inch joists instead of the 14 like all these. Everything's 14 except for just a few areas. Like most of this over here is just 8. Uh, it depends on, that all depends on the span. Just like if you were building out of wood, you know, your span dictates whether you're using a 2x8, 2x10, 2x12, etc. So, same concept. So it does matter which end goes where, not because of the, the hanger brackets the same, but for your things like HVAC and all that, your little pass-throughs, these are where the lot bars go in. But this is already pre-done for you. And they worked with my HVAC engineer on a couple of areas that we needed some additional ones. So all that gets planned out, but these go in a row. So like this one may be in the center, so it may not matter, but you'll get to a point where it does matter. So if you put the wrong end, instead of having a straight line of these holes, you'll be like, Rrr. So you just got to watch that. OSHA approved. All right, now pull it down some towards you. All right, so we're going to set beams today. They already started setting the ones they can set by hand, which are the shorter ones like this. So you get an idea, see how it just sets on each side. And then those holes line up. And then these oblong holes get the uh, lock bars in them. We'll be doing that next. And they just go through and find the joist that are next, so like in their case, they need a J16, and uh, so we need to locate a 16, right? So let's do it. Ah, now we can start working the job supervisors here. Uh, oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Can't multitask. JB Jr. over there, making sure to get breakfast in. Start time was 7.30. What do we have this morning? Looks like we had a uh, sausage, or we got egg, bacon, yeah. and, cheese. and cheese. Man, look at that. The Jackie special. Jackie special. Jackie Dash. So what we're gonna do is, you know, it would have made too much sense to put all the correct beams together when they banned it. Yeah, hey, we ain't got time so for we're that. We're gonna play puzzle pieces, which I found my orange can of paint and I dotted oh, all the ones that we Oh, look at that. So that it'll be easier for us to look through and find yeah. the ones we need. And I have no idea what I do with my can of orange paint. We're gonna need that. We're definitely gonna need that. All right. So what I need you to do is come up top. Come up out. Come up top. Grab those five, sit them over there to the side. Okay. And then probably that back one, and then we can pick Then we can mess with that. Yeah. All right, sounds good, let's do it. I would have picked them no. all up. But yeah. Numbers, the holes don't line up, so I can't just put a strap through there and pick them all up. Well, you didn't think it was gonna be easy, did you? No, it wasn't. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be great. 
job supervisor. <laughs> Man, where my helpers go? It's time to work. They disappeared. Just spent the morning moving all that so that I could give them the little ones. Yeah. Or even beside it. Help him move the block or do what he says. Chop, chop. Get a board and lay down that way we can still pick it up. Alright. Right. Okay, so you just want to. I got you. So we get to okay. The next one. If these two are the same, look, all right, there's a 41. There's two 41s there. Yeah. Alright, I can get to the rest now. We can hook chains for them. Okay. We pick them up. You want to set this one back on it? Uh, yeah. Uh, hold on, if we can stand the next one up, that way I can get a change. Okay. Alright. The next one, if we, is that a Sand it up. Yeah, stand this one up. 
Watch out. Crib. That's fine. We get him. We'll just wrap a chain around each one of those. Okay. So I'll get out of the way. Yeah. Seen a 16, yeah. Mm. Kind of sucks. Oh god. Where's y'all's work gloves? Uh, mm. Fuck it. Get up protecting my pockets. All right. Just hold it till he Just does. Get two of them right now. You only get three? Is it yeah. Third, They're in the middle. It's like a TP. Yep, watch your hand down there. That sounds great. Learning with Let's Dig. So unhook it and then hook one at the time. So when we set them on there, you'll notice that the vent duct spacing, we have like a three foot on that end and four foot on this end. They all need to be the same on each end so all the ducts will line up. All right, so go ahead and wrap it around that top one. All right, so all the dots should stay on one end, I think, on at least those three. Okay. All right. So now, I got you. Man. Whoa, don't grab that. Swing you right off. Back up a little bit. All right. Like a glove. All right, now you gotta take the chains off.
Make sure, jump on the ladder a little bit on that bottom step, you know, the gravel. You might have already experienced that. Yeah. And then they'll do the same thing again and we'll hook that in. Keeps them in place also. Now, when you're done pouring the floor, if you want to, be careful, young man. Where's your hard hat? There's like four in the shop. Yeah. Yeah, first all your rebar safety caps. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, never mind, I got it. No way. YouTube guidelines and everything. Can we see where you're going? Yeah, we've watched the outro. I see it. Yeah, step back over here for a minute. Which way's the orange cap? Oh. Alright, right, push it. Whoa, boy, I'm getting vertigo. I about fell off. Be careful. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. I know, bro. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt next. <laughs> Day 41. Okay. The victory in this hallway for some reason. Needs to go this way a little bit. This way, babe. Yeah, this there way. you go. About where about where Dalton's foot is. He's going All right. Over, down. Down and over. We can slide it. There you go. Five, yeah. <laughs> By the time he comes back, we'll be done. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Not bad since the designers were in uh, the UK working on the metric system. Never came out. Never came out. It's a metric Oh, does that end need to come? Okay. Did you count yet? Yeah, it's going to be about where. Right out of here. Yeah. Oh, he's swinging a little too hard. Watch out, Jeff.
This is the way. Hey, we got to put one more here, so maybe keep it on this side. What do you think? Yeah. What's up? Where's the boom truck? So... Any of y'all that have seen the Spruce Pine Project, I'll put a link in the description. These are the guys that framed it. So they're gonna come over and help us with setting this up. And uh, there we go. So it's gonna be something. And uh, Chris going over here and marking the gravel everywhere that the beams go because he's gonna set from this side. Yeah, two guys. Giving him that one. Boom. Guy's gonna walk it up the ladder. And there you go. So it's kind of like uh what was that? Uh it's Paul Bunyan versus the machine. <laughs> huh? Look at that. See what happens when you got a crew. So all those are set. Uh -huh. So there's these lock bars. So I'll have to go around with those. There's a uh, difference here for the next floor than what's on the plan. So when they planned it based on the first floor, these are a little long. We could modify it very easily. Well, I shouldn't say very easily, but we could modify it relatively easily and make them work but it just so happens that these three and the other two that we just didn't bother sitting on here so those five are the perfect length for the width of what used to be the garage so i'm gonna move those over. instead of doing all this modification i'm gonna move those over there and then when the ones come in for over there uh they haven't been signed off on yet so i'll adjust the length to fit here perfectly and there we go so they were off by about three inches and uh, so I was gonna have to cut the steel a little bit and just since I've got a, another option, that's what we're gonna do, so. So uh, like I said, these guys been knocking out. That was easy. <laughs> this, uh, this port worked out pretty well. And I mean, the only machine we had was the tractor and Chris's, uh, the 220. And they, the guys set all these by hand and we're done in two hours, 5,000 square feet. So gives you an idea of how fast you can knock this stuff out. Uh, now these here just go on here. And that'll be, I mean, these are only the eight inch short beams. So that'll be a lot easier than this was. They'll set that. I'm gonna bring all the lock bars down and start uh, showing them how we do that and get, uh, Get that done, so rolling along. Oh, I'm gonna go over here and put this on that bar. All right, let's see what it looks like. So, put those pieces of wood in for the uh, pockets. I'll have to. Uh, the good news is that 90, 95% of all this is gone smoothly and great. Um, there's going to be little stuff, of course, special on a project of this size. The stuff we'll have to take care of, but it's not awful. And uh, we can uh, figure it out. So. All right, it's time for a check-in. See uh, how it's going. So the guy's got the floor joist up quickly, as you saw before. So I went ahead and brought in the lock bars. And uh, now they're doing the lock bars, so they go in at the very ends and then every two feet on center. So I'm gonna use them to uh, 
you know, get as much done as possible. And then I'll come back and do any, you know, a little touch up adjustment, whatever. So they're doing great. And uh, you see the little ridge or the little channel goes down. That way you can hang stuff if you need to, like in commercial buildings. But man, I hate I'm gonna cover this stuff up. This would be beautiful. I might like to just see this stuff. What do you think, Tater? You look like you've done something. Been running around, but not been metal. Dalton was kind of clean. He didn't even look like he sweat much. That's because I'm going to paint and I don't sweat much. I don't sweat like this guy. He's gone through two shirts. Hey. Vitamin C serum recommended by the Some of us sweat more. Patented vitamin C. What do you think, McLovin? Now you look sweaty and dirty. Yeah. I'm actually doing work. So. Yeah, exactly. All right, so just want to give you all a quick check in. It's looking great. Lots of uh, lots of lot bars to put in, but they're getting it done. I can feel, I can feel the fire burn in my heart. Make it through the twists and turns. Out of the darkness, built from broken bones. When times are tough, I walk ahead and breathe the storm. Guys opened up, I'm not hiding anymore. I keep on moving, carving at the storm.
memories turn to songs and laughter to tears. These things aren't a given, they're a gift to behold. Like the first leaves of autumn, our breath in the cold. Slow. 